Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to convert, how to make a black and white image into color image. So this is gonna be the black and white and we're gonna transform that image into this. So let's begin. So first of all, what, I, what I'm gonna do is gonna add some color adjustment and I'm gonna put 100% red on green I'm gonna put 29 and on yellow minus 37 on shadows I'm gonna put 39, 15, and 30, and highlight 11, minus 15, and minus 36. this is i think this is gonna depends on your image but just move these options or settings more or less all depends on your taste and your image and now we're gonna change the opacity to 60. so the other thing I'm gonna do is to add a photo filter and this is gonna be warming filter and the density around 78 and we're gonna change the opacity to 18 Next, let's add another color balance adjustment. Color balance. And on mid-tones, uh, we're gonna put minus 11. Eight. And 18. On shadows, we're gonna put three, and it's gonna be zero, zero, and that's it. Now we're gonna add some selective color, and we're gonna choose reds. On reds, we're gonna put on blacks 15, then choose yellows. And we're gonna put minus 25 on cyan. So now we're gonna make a new layer. And we're gonna choose the brush. This is, uh, let's name this lip or, or lips. So this is gonna be the lips, the color of the lips. So let's choose the red this red right here and let's paint the, the lips So now that we have this, let's change the blend mode to soft light and lower the opacity to around 68, 68, 69. Let's make a new layer and let's name this eyes. We're gonna choose a green color for the eyes. You can choose any color you, you want. 
also on the lips you can choose any different color if you want so I'm gonna choose I said green so I'm gonna choose this green and see how it looks like and let's change the blend mode to soft light and the opacity around 30 percent now let's make another layer and let's name that layer nails and we're gonna use the same color we use for the lips red so let's paint the nails and let's change the blend mode to soft light and i think that looks pretty good you can change the opacity if you want but i think that looks nice let's make another layer and let's name this layer uh, eyeshadows and choose some blue okay, let's try this pure green cyan let's see how it looks like so let's go with the brush and let's paint let's paint this like I said before you can choose any color you want but if you wanna do what I what I'm doing then choose this one Next, I'm going to set the blend mode to soft light and lower the opacity to 50... 50 or to 45. So I'm gonna put it to 45. Okay, next I'm gonna go to the color balance. Let's see. Yes, I'm gonna go to the color balance layer mask. I'm gonna get the brush and I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna get the I'm gonna press alt key um, left click on this layer mask and drag that to the top one then I'm gonna click yes I'm gonna do the same drag it to the top one yes and do the same with the top one and yes next I'm gonna go to the eyeshadow layer and make a new layer and let's name this hair so we're gonna paint the hair let's choose a brown color i'm gonna choose this dark brown color and i'm gonna paint the hair and let's change blend mode to soft light opacity around 30 
so that's the difference with the color also I think let's go back with the eyeshadows I think we can blur this a little to make it blend better so let's go to blur Gaussian blur and let's put 7 7 it looks good so let's go with 7 and let's get the eraser tool and delete inside because believe it or not some when we blur that color it went to the eye we cannot see it very well because the opacity is too low and the blend mode is too soft light but it's there so once we got that let's make a layer touch and burn layer let's use the touch tool and let's burn let's touch what needs to be touch just go over the light, the light areas to lighten a, a little more Now let's go with the burn tool and on here is not too much so just go over the dark areas real quick on here just go on the outside here on the inside right here Let's go over the eyebrows. Eyebrows? Yes, eyebrows. And over here. So this is with the dash and burn layer and this is without it. So like you can see, you can see a lot of difference. So there you go. I think it looks better knowing that it was, this was a black and white image. So this is the image we started with and this is the image we ended up with. So leave a comment if you like or hit the like button if you like this tutorial. Also if you have any questions, suggestions or anything just leave a comment. I hope this works for you and see you next time. Bye bye.